Well, it looks like our old pal Keemstar from Drum Alert just popped off on T-Spill over on Twitter and he seemingly started a war with all of the drama channels. So I wanted to take this opportunity to discuss something that's kind of been on my mind for a while. Exposed. is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and if you're new to my channel what i'd like to do is take a look at the youtube community or pop culture in general and try to see what lessons we can learn from them so if you're into that stuff make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so long story short what happened over on twitter was keemstar started arguing or calling out t-spill about how they haven't retracted any videos uh, about the James Charles situation, all right? And something that Keemstar is gonna have to live with for the rest of his life is how he called somebody out for being a pedo and he was incorrect about that, all right? But he defends himself on that front. But anyways, what I wanted to do, the purpose of this video, which is gonna circle back around to all of this, is something that I, I think about a lot is distinguishing the difference between channels, all right? So I kind of categorize everything and think about, okay, what kind of content am I looking for? Which channel am I watching? So I wanna talk about three different categories, okay? And that's news channels, commentary channels, and drama channels. Now, the differences between these might be nuanced, but in my opinion, I feel that it's pretty important. Like. Look at the National Enquirer, right? Look at the stories that they put out there. Look what's on the cover of their magazines, right? And then look at the New Yorker, okay? Like they both publish things about what's going on in the world, but would you really put those two in the same category? So first, let's talk about news, okay? So news channels, I think the best example is Philip DeFranco, okay? Philip DeFranco has been around for a while. Um, in recent years, he's really found like his momentum of how he wants to run his channel, create his brand, and he is branching out and creating this like massive like online news organization. But here's the thing that I want you to think about. Philip DeFranco has been covering the James Charles, Tati Westbrook, and Jeffree Star situation. He's covering that drama in the beauty community. So would it be fair to classify Philip DeFranco as a drama channel? Of course not. Now, other stories that Philip DeFranco covers are on an international level or relationships between you know different countries. So when he talks about the United States and North Korea, is he talking about the drama between the United States and North Korea? No, the dude's reporting on the news. And I think what makes Philip DeFranco more of a news channel is he really keeps his opinions on things very minimal depending on the subject, all right? He tries to attack these stories from a very objective point of view and present the facts on both sides and then ask you what your own opinion is. The only time I really see him form a very strong opinion is when it's like, it's kind of like a black and white situation, like when he's talking about somebody like abusing children or murder or something like that, all right? So now let's talk about Keemstar. What kind of channel is Keemstar? Now, for any of you who know me, I am not a huge fan of Keemstar, mainly for his views on mental health. Not a fan on that. I've called him out plenty of times. But one thing that I have to give Keemstar credit for is that I do feel that he runs his channel with integrity. And here's what I mean by that. As mentioned, he took down the video accusing somebody of being a pedo, and he's kind of at a level, I don't, I wouldn't say he's at the size of Philip DeFranco with the team he's running, but they do put in effort to report the news, get the right news. Now, what's tricky about Keemstar is his channel is called Drama Alert, okay? So he covers a lot of drama, but the way I see it, I would categorize him as a news channel that's kind of adjacent to drama channels, if that makes sense. So while he does cover a lot of drama, he is reporting on the news and giving a, a lot of facts. He does interject his opinion more than Philip DeFranco on his channel. And if you follow him on Twitter, he puts his opinion about literally everything out there. Now let's talk about commentary channels. So when I think of commentary channels, channels that I put into this category are ones like I'm Aber, I'm Alex, The Right Opinion, A Tozy, Psych IRL, and then there's like a subgenre in the commentary community, and it's like comedy commentary community, right? Where you have people like Danny Gonzalez, Drew Gooden, Leon Lush, Jarvis Johnson, Elvis the Alien, Bionic Pig, and a bunch of other ones, all right? So 
when I go to those channels, I'm trying to get some extra yucks in, you know, them making fun of things. But when I look at commentary channels, this is my personal favorite type of channel, and that's why I'm trying to find my voice with the way I've rebranded my channel and how I'm doing these uh, these videos. I, I really like watching commentary channels because what they're doing is they're reporting on news, right, in pop culture, typically in the YouTube, social media kind of genre, but they are really showing you their opinions on these things. And the reason I enjoy these channels is because I feel like they're th thought provoking. They initiate some critical thinking. Like when I turn to these channels, I look to get information about the stories that I'm following and maybe see different points of views, different angles that maybe I didn't think of. But I feel like these channels are very set in their values and their opinions. And I really enjoy those channels because it feels like you get to know that person a lot better too. Because they're like, here's what I stand for, here's what I believe. So as I'm covering this story, you're getting a sense of who I am and what I believe in. Now, when it comes to commentary channels, they also operate with a certain level of integrity, okay? Not all channels, not all the times, but here's what I mean by that. Much like news channels like Philip DeFranco or Keemstar, um, iNabber is a great example. He recently just took down one of his initial videos about James Charles because he admitted that all the facts weren't out, he formed an opinion too soon, he got it wrong, he removed that video from his channel, he stated it over on Twitter, as well as in his last video about this situation, all right? So when you see that, you're like, okay, he is operating his channel and running his channel kind of in a way that aligns with the values and the person that I've gotten to know. Now, let's talk about drama channels and that community. And this is the part that's gonna get me into trouble. But now that you guys understand how my mind works and how I categorize these channels, let me tell you this. Anybody who categorizes a channel based on titles, thumbnails, or topics, like that is literally one of the most ignorant things I've experienced on my 33 years on this planet. Now, here's the thing. When I go to drama channels, I am expecting something different. I do not expect the same level of integrity as I would from a commentary channel or a news channel. Now, that does sound harsh, it does sound like I'm throwing shade, but hear me out. What I mean by that is, like, if I go to McDonald's, I don't expect the same level of food or the same quality of service as I would if I went to a nice restaurant, okay? So, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just saying I don't expect as much out of these channels. This is what inspired this video. When Keemstar was talking about T-Spill not taking down any of her videos if they got it wrong. I don't expect that from drama channels, I just don't. I go to drama channels to get some information and here's what I respect and appreciate about drama channels. They are quick, they are quick with it. If you want somebody who has their pulse, especially on the beauty community, it's the drama channels, okay? They are all up on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, following all of these people, looking to see what's going on, what controversies are happening, and anything like that. So if you just wanna stay up to date on that realm, drama channels are definitely the place to be. Something I've noticed about drama channels is, and, and this isn't all the drama channels, okay? But there are minimal opinions in there. Something I noticed, especially following this James Charles situation, was there were a lot of channels covering it, which I would categorize in the drama channels, where a lot of them were trying to get to 10 minutes and you know, do your thing, boo, I understand how mid-rolls work on YouTube, but they were trying to get 10 minutes and most of the content, like I'd say probably between 70 to 80 or 90% is just clips of like Jeffree Star on Snapchat or clips from videos or reading receipts, and the opinions are very minimal, okay? So again, like what I when I see drama channels or commentary channels, I separate the two because I see commentary channels putting themselves out there just a little bit more and their opinions and standing firm in their values and everything like that. Now, circling back to this, Something that I've noticed, something that I've noticed in my time here on YouTube is this about drama channels, which I feel also separates them from commentary channels and news channels. They can get very emotional and that can guide their opinions as well as the topics that they cover. Because when we're looking at 
what is the purpose of videos like Philip DeFranco to report the news, right? Commentary channels like I'm Alex and I Never to talk about what's going on, what their opinions are, what they feel is right or wrong, and they try to take a step back and look at these things objectively. Now, what is the purpose of drama channels. Typically drama channels, their purpose is to expose people, is to show what is going on with these people. And it is a level of accountability, but one of the issues that I have seen within that community is that they can let their emotions depict the type of videos they make and the opinions that they have. Now, again, that's human nature, but I do not categorize them as the same as news and commentary channels. The last thing I wanna touch on and I'm not gonna name any specific channels, but you guys have probably seen these channels. Then there are channels that are specifically there to try to take people down in careers, and I find these as being the bottom of the absolute barrel. Like, whoever out there is running a channel that is designed to like try to ruin somebody's life or in their career, like in my opinion, like that is like, the trashiest of the trash here on YouTube. And if you're into those channels, you do you, boo. But anyways, like I said, those of you who've been following my channel for a while, maybe you just got a little bit more into my mind, but I think it's something to discuss. Like, and I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Like when I was planning this video, there's a bunch of channels I was gonna talk about. And I was actually talking about this video idea with a fellow creator. And there's a lot of overlap and I didn't mention too many channels in this video, but there are some channels who consider themselves drama channels, but I personally see them more as a commentary channel because most of their video is based on opinion. You know what I mean? So like, there's a bunch of overlap and nuances and things like that, but like I said, going back to my original example, like I pick up, you know, the New Yorker for a different reason than I would pick up The Inquirer or one of these like magazines that's telling me about people's relationships and things like that. So I just wanted to get your wheels turning so maybe you can walk into videos with a little bit more intention and being more conscious of the content that you're consuming and maybe asking yourself, why am I going to this channel? Like I kind of shared with all of you why I watch news channels, why I watch commentary channels and why I watch drama channels. So I would love to hear from all of you. Like, what are your thoughts on this? Why do you turn to different channels? Let me know down in the comment section below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, get access to some other perks and benefits, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.